Sup, y'all, bring you guys another video. This is bringing you guys my post fight thoughts of the fight between Carman Leharaga and Dylan Charat. Charat, Charat, Charat. I think that's how you pronounce it. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing his name. But yeah, they recently fought over in Spain. Fight ended in the 10th round due to an accidental uh, headbutt that caused a cut. And uh, the fight ended up going in favor of Leharaga. Now, before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. Um, please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, so yeah, Leharaga and Charat. They uh, fought a very close fight. I honestly had it 5-5 after the 10th round. But, you know, the judges thought otherwise but i can't blame the judges as well because they actually had it close the judges had it close in favor of carman leharaga two judges scored it 96 94 96 94 in favor of leharaga one judge scored it 95 95 i thought leharaga had problems getting work in the inside early on i thought charat's movement and boxing was very good his ability to hit and move, hit and move and hit from the outside, use his height and reach as an advantage was very good. But as the fight was going on, Leharaga was was able to work on him in the inside, work the body, work upstairs, mixing it up, downstairs, upstairs, and was hurting Charat. He was hurting him. But then again, Charat had moments where he kind of had that second wind and looked like he was back in the game even though he he got hurt i think it was like that ninth, ninth or eighth round where he got hurt really bad with a body shot but then he came back the next round looking okay you know i gotta give props to charat i think he definitely showed up and tried to win this fight and he did show a lot of heart and determination and who knows maybe if the fight went to this and he probably could have won this fight i mean there was what two rounds left so you know it is what it is um, I don't know, man. Lehara got this weight, 154. He looks a lot slower and sluggish. I, I honestly, I don't really see Leharaga going any further than just a Europe. I don't think he can go to a world level class fight. I think he'll be stuck fighting European level fighters, or at least he can beat European level fighters. But I don't really see him beating any world level class fighter. I'm gonna be completely honest. Because he was getting hit with some clean shots, man. If only Charat had more power in his shots. I mean, going to this fight, what? He had six wins out of his 20 wins coming by way of Nagar Tikio. He doesn't really have much power. But if he did, you know, he probably would have stopped Leharaga, in my opinion, with the amount of punches he was able to land in, especially early on in this fight. And the ability for Leharaga, like, I don't think Lehara can take a punch pretty well, too. And I wonder, is Leharaga ranked? Let me double check real quick. I wonder if he's ranked. What? He's ranked number three under the WBA? No way. I don't know about that. Come on, WBA. Really? What? He fought how many fights? One, two, three, four, five. This Or six, I guess. Six fights at 154. But they were... Those guys were not that great, man. Come on. Come on, WBA, kidding me, number three? I don't know about that. that. That's, I don't know. To me, there's no way he's number three for super welterweight. No way. Anyway, we'll see what's next for Leharaga. I mean, I guess he'll be fighting European level fights. Um, he seems very comfortable just fighting in Spain. Uh, to my understanding, he's one of Spain's most popular fighters, and with the zone in Spain right now, I you know I think the zone just wants to get subscribers from Spain with Leharaga fighting. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on who he ends up fighting next. I don't think he should be fighting you know these guys like Charlo or Team Zoo or Castaño. You know, definitely not those guys. But who knows? I don't know how the European level is right now. Maybe he could fight his fellow countryman Sergio Garcia. If, you know, if they can make that fight, I think that'll be a big fight in Spain. 
but we'll see what happens next for uh the Harga. As for uh Dylan Charat, I guess back to the drawing board for him, see what's next and go from there. So uh yeah, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.